Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Parker County Public Schools with another edition of Three Great Things. This is an opportunity for me to share some things I've seen in schools this past week. And uh, actually, I had, I had more than three, uh, but I picked, um, I guess, my top three um, for this week. Uh, one was, uh, one, and I think probably the one I got most excited about was I did a, my weekly podcast with some students from Cedar Lee Middle School. And one of the students, a girl named Sarah, a sixth grader at Cedar Lee, um, interjected towards the end of my podcast and shared with me, as she called it a fun fact, and asked, did I know that schools uh, are really modeled, uh, the typical public school in America is really modeled after um, uh, the Industrial Revolution and preparing factory workers during the Industrial Revolution, et cetera, et cetera. And, as a matter of fact, I, I did know that, and I was absolutely amazed that uh, Sarah knew that, uh, a sixth grader. And anyway, anyways, I shared with Sarah that uh, a fellow by the name of Sir Ken Robinson uh, did a TED Talk about this very thing, and it includes references to the Industrial Revolution and how, how schools, the first public schools, were sort of modeled after the industrial design, where you've got, um, uh, you know, bells and whistles to... Uh, tardy bells, dismissal bells, uh, centers, uh, kids moving from one room to the next, and uh, and then the, it, it's sort of a haves and have-nots model where, you know, the top kids go off to college and the other kids go work in the factories, and uh, it was really interesting. It's a really interesting TED Talk. It's by a guy named Sir Ken Robinson, but anyway, Sarah's comments hearkened me back immediately to uh, that that TED talk and uh, it's very interesting and but it was just to, to me it floored me that that Sarah um, was sort of aware of that and knew that the, the early American public schools were sort of modeled after that factory structure or factory models really interesting um, the other thing is something I got to experience today was the one lunch program at Liberty High School if you're not familiar with it so Liberty is doing something really different and really authentic in that they are now providing just one lunch for students, 60 minutes long, but it's all students uh, going and eating. And what it, what it does is it allows students to um, uh, matriculate throughout the building, go visit teachers, get extra help, work on art projects, um, play music, uh, or just eat in the cafeteria. So there's lots of different options during that 60 minutes. But uh, so far, so good as far as how it's working and how the good folks in the nutrition program are sort of holding up in regard to a brand new model of delivering food uh, to you know basically 12, 1300 kids all, all at once uh, but it's working really well uh, so far so I got to experience that today that was really neat and I got to eat with a really neat bunch of students and I told them every knock knock joke I could think of and we had a really great time uh, and last but not least, early in the week at Coleman Elementary, I visited a first grade classroom and the teacher, and I'm sorry that I did not take note of the teacher's name, but she has, a, has greeting options on her door and it's really neat. So uh, kids coming into the classroom can pick one of the greeting options, which includes a high five, a fist bump, pinky, pinky promise, just a hello, um, or a your choice. And I think a hug, a hug was one of the options. So that was pretty neat um, never seen that before but um, but again it puts the choice in the hands of the student and uh, so hats off to the teacher or teachers who've instituted that and it's been a great week in Falker County Public Schools I saw a lot of really great stuff um, so hopefully I'll get to talk about some of those things later on thanks hope you have a great weekend